The emerald of the heart of the Florida Keys combines the city of Marathon and Key Colony Beach, and we are a population of about 11,000 people. And during the winter when we have many, many more people, we're probably almost double that. Something the Islands of Marathon and the City of Marathon are really well known for are our tourist attractions, which are really geared towards families. We have the Dolphin Research Center, we have the Turtle Hospital, we also have Aquarium Encounters of the Florida Keys, Crane Point Museum and Nature Center, and the Nature Trails are an amazing place to, uh, to just stroll through. And of course, uh, Pigeon Key, and Pigeon Key Island was used by Mr. Flagler, who really helped to put the keys on the map by um, connecting all of our amazing little islands uh, with the railroad. A lot of great history, a lot of good activities. And because the city of Marathon is a quaint, beautiful little town, it allows us to connect with the right people to help our members and our visitors. The city of Marathon, like I think any coastal community at this point, sees a tremendous number of vacation rentals. And what's happening is traditional homes, are being converted to vacation rentals. And what that amounts to is that those become homes unavailable to our workforce. One of the things the City of Marathon has done in the last 10 years is spend a tremendous amount of our effort and time uh, trying to build our workforce housing. We built probably almost 800 units of workforce or affordable housing. And I think that's been a tremendous asset to the city of Marathon over the years. We incorporated in 1999, so we are a new city. We're a developing city, but we're old enough too at 20 years that we're beginning to see some of the things that affect any city that's got to maintain itself and continue growth and, and yet at the same time keep up with the infrastructure. The city is 22 years old, so there's a lot in the equipment that we had prior was 22 years old and it needed to be updated. We just did our two playground structures, which was very you know, critical to have. And, and we have a, a, a skate park that we're designing. And the biggest, biggest, biggest thing we would like to see is, is a community pool. Another unique thing about the city of Marathon when it comes to our parks and recreation is the closeness of our marina, city marina. They're right down the street from us. So in season, we have we, all of these different families that come down for the, you know, for the winter time. They use our facilities for their recreation, you know, so it's it's like everything picks up. So there's a, a lot of different things for that little city. I think that's one unique thing that in other areas of Monroe County, I think they, do, they just don't have. The city of Marathon Marina is a cruiser's marina, a full-time liveaboard. We offer 226 mooring balls, 14 slips, and a large anchorage out in the harbor. In season, we typically have close to 400 vessels out there. Most of them are sailboats with some power boats. We have so much uplands here, so we could provide all of the cruisers and liverboards with the project room, the lounge, the library, to they get their mail, the bathhouse with all the bathrooms and showers in it. We pump out five days a week out in the harbor Unlike most marinas, it's either just done at the dock or they have very few services out in the harbor. Our newest project is the City of Marathon 7 Mile Marina, where we will be putting Pigeon Key Foundations trolley and we'll be putting in more commercial fishing vessels instead of liveaboard community. I can't say enough about what that marina means to the city of Marathon and Seven Mile Marina will become incorporated into the work that the marina does. And we have people coming from, I think now, 88 different countries in the world that come and visit us during the course typically of the winter season. When the city incorporated, we were a city that was in the process of infrastructure building. So we've built a city around a revision of our old septic tanks systems to a sewer system. And we now have a major infrastructure, uh, which we're very proud of, frankly. In addition to uh, the sewer system we've built within the city of Marathon, we built a storm water system. The city of Marathon is a low-lying island chain. So one of our biggest concerns is sea level rise and climate change. One of our big projects right now is the LIDAR scanning of all of our city roads. 
We're working with the other municipalities in the county on this project. And from that, we'll collect data on the road elevations as well as the critical facilities in town and be able to better plan for the future of those facilities. One of the main challenges is that the existing residences may or may not already be below flood. There are some parts of town that are below sea level. So as we make improvements to our facilities, we have to look at the impacts that those may have on the existing residents themselves. There are huge efforts underway to fund projects that will ultimately raise our roads, protect our infrastructure, protect the homes and businesses that are here in the city of Marathon. It's an ongoing effort. Um, it happens every day, but we'll proceed for city of Marathon's future for as long as we're able to be a vibrant city.